Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be answering some questions that I got from you all since I have been gone for so long. Um, I have my veg vlogs, I have my get ready with me and I will post them, but I wanted to say hello like as the present me to you guys since it's been like a few weeks. So yeah, I miss this. It's just been really, really crazy with school. Um, to give you guys a little bit of background of where I've been before I hop into the questions, I found out that I can possibly probably graduate early so I'm kind of hustling it through a lot of things I have my internship and I'm already trying to start thinking about my honors project that I'm going to have to do my senior year still trying to get study abroad sorted out all I'm waiting on now is my letter of recommendation for my advisor and then I can apply so thinking about saving for that um, we're doing stuff for revival magazine that I'm on I'm a model in the fashion show trying to do my minor in sustainability. My first sustainability class is a lot more math than I thought it was gonna be, so it's kind of kicking my butt. Just the fashion illustration class I'm currently in is kind of crazy, so yeah. And I've been working for like the past couple of weeks trying to get all of my garments finished for the fashion show as well as today. Um, it's Sunday, February 28th. I had a photo shoot with one of my old co-workers from Gap when I worked there last summer. She kindly offered to photograph my pieces for free even though she usually charges so that's really awesome of her. So I had to get my stuff done by this weekend even though stuff isn't due for the show until March 8th. So yeah, it's just been kind of crazy hectic. I know you guys probably understand which is really really awesome but you know if not I'm really sorry. Let's go ahead and get into some of the questions. These are all sort of college related questions as well as just kind of life related questions. There was one anonymous question on Tumblr so let me get to that first. Is college all you thought it would be? And that is a definite no. It is not at all what I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to have a lot more friends than I currently do which it's totally fine that I don't have as many as I thought I was going to. Um, I thought there would be more like boys involved and all of that stuff, but it's just really been about me focusing on myself and finding myself, which sounds very cliche, very cheesy, but it's absolutely the truth. I feel like as a creative person, I have always been more introverted and just getting to school, realizing, you know, who I am as a designer and who I am as all of that has forced me to want to focus on myself a lot more and because of that I've really pulled away from people a lot although of course I mean I still am involved with a lot of stuff so I am around people all the time and I love seeing the people that I do see on a regular basis it's just not the way it was in high school where you're like going shopping with people on the weekend or that's not even really fun for me anymore anyway I much much rather enjoy everything I'm doing right now like photo shoots and drawing and designing and all of that so I'm really really happy right now and I can't complain. Summer Janelle asks, sorry if I pronounce anyone's name wrong, did you jump feet first into being a vegetarian or did you slowly remove different meats from your diet? How difficult was it? So I did sort of slowly remove things. If anything, I kind of just removed, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I first started this whole thing, I don't know if you guys remember, because of a paper I was writing about how living on a plant-based diet is like better for you and I sort of like convinced myself. But also at the same time, I was taking an environmental science class where you had to like changed an aspect of your lifestyle for like a couple of weeks and one of the things you could do was be a vegetarian so for that period of time I started eating as a vegetarian just like completely no fish no poultry no red meat anything and then after that time was up I did have fish for a little bit while longer and I remember I randomly had like one chicken sandwich when I had to drive somewhere I was like driving to a concert and I was in a rush so I had that then but once the summer kind of kicked in because that was in like April once it was May I really started phasing everything out. It was like a little bit of fish, a little bit of fish, and then I just stopped and I haven't had anything since then. Was it difficult? No. The only thing that's difficult about it is eating at restaurants with people or my parents weren't very acclimated to it because at the time it was summer so I was back at my parents house and they kind of had to adjust with me a little bit. Not completely, I definitely did my part and helped make my meals, but there was just certain little things that they had to become aware of as well. Like if my mom was making a soup using vegetable, vegetable broth instead of chicken broth, just little things like that. Lexi Chesley asks, what is your favorite vegetarian meal? Definitely just noodles of any kind, which is very vague, but I love pasta. I love like 
any sort of Asian noodle dish, um, just noodles, I guess. And they're super easy to make as well. CC Roy 13 asks, what or who inspires your designs? Have you always been a good drawer? And what job possibilities come out of my degree? So what or who inspires my designs? I'm inspired by, I don't know, it's so hard. I'm just inspired by things I like. I am inspired by some brands. I really like Eileen Fisher as a brand and I really like Cause, C-O-S. It's like a UK brand. Those are two aesthetics that I definitely feel like, like I'm on the same page with as a designer. But otherwise I'm really inspired by like buildings or interiors a lot of the time. And just like shapes in general because a lot of my stuff is like boxier. I just, I don't know where it comes from. That's just kind of what I like to design and draw. Have I always been good at drawing? Thank you, first of all. Second of all, I've always enjoyed drawing. Um, I don't know if I've always been good at it necessarily, but I remember being in elementary school and my art teacher could tell that I really, really liked it. So she was always, you know, telling me that I was doing a good job and that kind of kept me moving forward. I always, I've always been on good terms with my art teachers. So yeah, I guess I've always liked drawing, always been good at it. Uh, that's like up to your interpretation, I guess. And then what job possibilities come out of my degree? Well, I'll just restate my major. I go to school here at Iowa State. My major is apparel merchandising and design, but my emphasis is design. And then also my minor is sustainability. So as far as jobs I can get, of course you could be a fashion designer, which is kind of my goal. But that goes a couple different ways. You could be a technical designer or you could be a creative designer. Technical design, you're more focused on like the measurements, notions and textiles and things with fashion fabrics, creative, of course, you're just coming up with like concepts and stuff like that. You can also do product development. So it's, it's kind of like a mixture of merchandising and design in a way. It's just developing new products, of course. I could be a stylist. In theory, I could do like fashion photography, fashion videography, um, but that kind of goes with just like past skills. You kind of have to have an interest in that as well. You could probably do some um, like writing, like fashion journalism, although it would help if you had like a minor or a double major with that. Textile development, especially with my whole sustainability thing. So there's a lot you can do. Um, it just kind of depends. And you can really personalize your degree. Ni the Fiasco asks, was it difficult transitioning to a minimalist wardrobe? Can you name a few stores that you consider to be great places to buy high quality essentials? I don't think it was actually that difficult. There's only been one or two times where I've been like, oh, I wish I had this certain piece that's still at my parents' house. But because of that, it hasn't been difficult. It's just been kind of fun. It's a challenge and it forces you to be more creative with the pieces that you have. Um, and as far as stores where you can find high quality pieces, I'm still figuring that out myself to be quite honest. I feel like vintage is like the best place to find quality pieces and I know that's kind of a cop-out answer but it's completely true. Sometimes thrift stores as well but like for example these boots that I found at a thrift store are my favorite boots ever. The only thing I had to change out was the laces recently or something like this dress that I've shown before as well. It's a vintage piece as well and things just sadly aren't made the same way they used to be and if you want to get good quality pieces for good prices I feel like this is the best way to go about it. Otherwise, um, as far as like bags go as a quality thing, my Matt and Nat bag has been like one of the best quality pieces I own. So that's an awesome site. They have like weekender bags, wallets, backpacks. I really would love a backpack from them, but I already have a backpack, so I don't need one. Even though that's not like clothing necessarily, I think they are a super quality, sustainable vegan site to check out. Anne Luong asks, what has it been like to work for Revival? Here's a little mug. Did not plan this, but there you go. Well, for starters, I don't work for them. It's actually just a student organization. We don't get paid. It's been really fun. I think it's probably one of my favorite things I've done at school this far. It's given me the opportunity to meet a lot of other creative people. And if you ever come to Iowa State, I highly recommend joining because it's a lot of fun. Positive Vibes 08 asks, if you weren't studying apparel design, what else would you study? And then when did I realize my interest in the field of interest, in the my interest in my field of study, like product development, 
element or um, which is kind of a cop-out because that's like something I mentioned earlier but like industrial design so like designing furniture or designing like little housewares or designing bikes like interesting kind of stuff like that I feel like would be interesting although it's a lot more technical I think than apparel so I would have to really like bust my butt to be good at it but I think it could be cool and then when did I realize my interest in my field of study I remember the first time I thought I wanted to do fashion I was in probably third grade either third or fourth grade and that's when I started using my sketchbook to actually draw fashion blah 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 blah, blah. Paige Miro Friesen Sorry again. Are you taking B12 pills or getting injections at all? I'm not. I should probably get that sorted out. <laughs> Megan Hilaire asks, how did you find slash get my internship? So in case you guys don't know, I am currently an undergraduate research intern through Iowa State um, with one of my professors in my program. She focuses her research on sustainability and just like technology development in the apparel industry. So like 3D printing, um, things like that. Basically, I found it because I was talking to my advisor and I was just saying I really wanted to focus more on sustainability in apparel, even though like I'm taking other sustainability courses, they're really geared towards like engineers, so not people like myself. And she recommended that I apply for this internship. All you do I had to write like a one page essay and fill out some other stuff. It was really super simple. I'm only allowed to do it for one semester though. I can never do it again. So I'm really glad that I'm doing it now. It's very interesting and she's helping me a lot. So I think it's awesome. Daniel Duane, shout out to my boy, Daniel. Daniel Duane photo on Instagram, but he asks, what first inspired you to get into apparel design? I feel like what first inspired me when I was like nine or 10 years old was just, I always liked art and I just so happened to realize that my favorite medium of art was fashion and apparel I was making clothes for like my Bratz dolls as a lot of people who want to be a designer do. I loved even from that young of an age I loved movies and like music videos more like popular culture things and I was just like always looking at the clothes in them so I guess that's kind of where it stemmed from. I think. Madison X52 asks, and there's like a lot of ends in her name, so that's why I said it like that. What are your plans for after graduation? Um, and then how do you shop for healthy groceries on a college budget? So my plan for after graduation, since I'm like graduating a semester early, ah, super scary. Hopefully find an internship. <laughs> I would like to find an internship actually not this summer, but next summer, but then hopefully after my single semester back here, as my like senior year, find another internship either for the spring um, time or like for the just summer after that. I might have to come back to Des Moines and like work for a bit, which wouldn't be such a bad idea because I can like live at my parents' house and pay off some of my loans and all of that. But yeah, I'm just hoping to get to a city I love and design for a company that shares my morals and all of that. That is that is the goal as of right now. And then how do I shop for healthy groceries on a college budget? If you just buy pasta, quinoa, if you can't always afford fresh vegetables, sorry, my memory card filled up, <laughs> but like canned vegetables, yeah. Focusing, focusing on things maybe that aren't always in the produce section. Although when you can splurge on those things, it's really nice to have fresh fruits and veggies around. Jasmo Money asks, how did you figure out how to become more minimalist or minimalistic? Honestly, just from watching YouTubers, Light by Coco, My Green Closet, Vegan Minimalist Mark. These are all people I think I've mentioned before. There's tons of other YouTubers as well, but YouTube is genuinely the place where I learned about it. Wirely underscore asks, how do you manage your schedule slash stay organized and balancing YouTube with all of your other things? Not very well, <laughs> if you can tell, because I've been gone for a long time. School is a priority for me. I'm in honors, so my grades need to stay at a certain area. When there's time for YouTube, then there's time for YouTube. Otherwise, unfortunately, even though I love this a lot, it, yeah, it's, it's not a priority in my life right now. Um, that's why I recommend that you guys follow me on like Instagram and Tumblr and stuff, because I'm much more active on those when I am not here and those are the only other social medias I have so yeah I don't do Twitter guys I really don't like Twitter <laughs> and I really don't like snapchat Ooh, unpopular opinion <laughs> uh, Mikey Duggs asks how did you transition to organic and healthy beauty products and is it a lot more expensive sorry if it keeps cutting in weird spots my memory card keeps shutting off my camera but anyway is it more expensive probably um it's more expensive than just like buying a suave or herbal essences shampoo just on the random but it's only like a couple dollars more and i transitioned into it just like 
little by little so once I used up a shampoo that wasn't cruelty free or natural I went and got one that was natural. Hannah Lansford asks any study tips that work for you? College is kicking your butt. Me too. What I find works best is writing things down and rewriting them. That works a lot for me especially like when I was in econ and had to remember a lot of vocab. I would write out the word and then write out the definition, and then cover the word, look at the definition, try to write the word, and then just keep covering it and keep rewriting it. Flashcards sometimes work for me, but I really am more of a kinesthetic learner. I have to like be doing something with it. So yes, that helps. Um, if you suck at math like I do, um, either get a tutor, which I've never done and I probably should, or you could be cheap like me and go on YouTube. YouTube videos really, really do help um, with people teaching you how to do certain things that you don't know how to do. So Shanice Husiak asks, have you thought about going waste free? It is something I would love to eventually get to, to reach that point, but right now I haven't been doing so well. I'm very inspired by the waste free movement. I always bring my own bags to the store. Um, I have like reusable bags for produce instead of using the green bags that are in stores. Sometimes I have to use them, you know, if I run out of my reusable bags, but otherwise it's just so hard because everything comes in packaging and it's just really annoying. Alexis Kittle asks, how are you able to eat so healthy without breaking the bank? I'm trying really hard, but it feels like my fruits and veggies are so expensive. I kind of mentioned this before, but buying canned, frozen, yes much cheaper. Especially store brand. 123 Gray CO asks, what are some pros and cons of minimalism? Pros, um, I keep my room a lot cleaner because there's not clothes thrown all around every day. Um, I can get ready a lot faster in the mornings. I feel like I look more put together on a capsule wardrobe just because everything matches with each other. Everything's more streamlined. Everything's kind of the same color. I feel more like a designer. Having a capsule wardrobe allows me to focus on my designs more because I'm not focusing on what I'm wearing every day. Cons, I don't have as much passion as I used to for coming up with concepts for shoots because I'm more focused on my own stuff, as I've said, which is a good thing, but it's also a bad thing for, you know, for this club that I'm a part of. Also, sometimes we bring stuff to shoots from our own wardrobes, but I typically don't have anything to bring um, because my style is my style. But that's like such a small con to me, and that's such a personal con. Like, I feel like most of you don't have to deal with that, so it's really just been a pretty positive experience in my book. Edwin, um, oh my goodness gracious, your username. Edwin um, uh, Penzi. Ooh, that was bad. Um, does it scare you that the end of college is nigh? Two years or so from sophomore year. Um, <laughs> yeah, it scares me a lot, especially now that I've told you guys it's not two years anymore, it's a year and a half. Um, so I'm kind of going a little bit crazy because I have so much that I need to do in such a short period of time. I'm doing it to save money is the only reason. Of course, if you can, it's much better to get your four years out of college. I'm going to be missing out on a couple classes out of my design program that aren't required, but that I could have taken had I been there longer. But at the same time, now I'm going to get a jump start on the rest of my life. I know that's scary and people always tell you that you shouldn't rush into adulthood because you have your whole life to be an adult which is very very true but i'm just really excited to do what i'm hopefully gonna do so i would rather get some internships get myself out there and finish up here at school that is basically everything thank you guys so much for sticking around it's it's been a lot okay so don't expect like a schedule of videos right now um you guys now have heard everything that's going on in my life and hopefully can understand and why I'm not posting as much, but expect to see cool pictures of my clothes, expect to see some new stuff from Revival soon. What If and when I do study abroad, I'll get to like vlog that and that'll be awesome. Crossing my fingers I get to go. I keep talking about it like I am going, but I don't know yet. So thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one whenever that is. <laughs> Bye. I just hit myself in the face. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>